boys and girls, it's Miss Carter here today, and I wanted to go ahead and talk about Tuesday's instructions. I hope you guys are doing great. I really miss you. Starting next week, we are going to start doing a writing workshop. Um, digitally, I am working on putting that together, so please be patient with me. We will be doing it through Zoom, and more will come at that time. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at your Tuesday instructions. So Tuesday, you're going to be doing some writing. You're going to need a paper and a pencil, and I would like you guys to have your students write about something they would like to learn about. This is a time for them to express and take control of their learning and t asking me questions on stuff they want to learn. And I will be sending responses with videos, instructions on how to do some of those things that they want to know if I'm able to. Okay, please remember this is their writing, not your writing. They need to do it. They need to write more than one thing. So I suggest setting a timer for 10 minutes and having them do that. Um, we are still working on starting our sentences with capital letters, ending with punctuations, making sure they are complete sentences, okay? After writing, I would suggest taking a brain break. Please, parents, remember you have a digital link that you can click on. You could type in the link or you have the QR codes at the bottom of the page that are labeled which, with each activity just to help you guys out. Okay, after writing, you're going to do reading. For reading, all you need is a device. You're gonna click on this link and it's gonna take you to a video. And once your children have done the read along, they can get on iStation reading for 30 minutes. Please remember it's vital that they are on there for 30 minutes, not clicking around, not switching from iStation to iStation math, to iStation reading, to iStation math, we want them focused on that lesson for 30 minutes, okay? After that, you might wanna do a brain break, but if you feel like your child's good, we're gonna move on to foundational. In foundational, you're gonna need a device, a paper, and a pencil. You're gonna have the children watch the TH video. Here's the TH video link. It's also down here, there's a QR code. And during the video, they're gonna watch the video, and then, they're gonna watch another video. In this video, it's Miss Carter and them creating a poster. So they're gonna to have to have a piece of paper and doing this assignment with me, okay? They're going to be creating a poster of TH words. We've done this in the past with SH and CH words. To this week, we're doing TH and WH words, okay? So they're gonna be creating a poster. That means they're gonna have TH, they're going to write, draw a picture and then label the picture so that I know what it is a picture of. After that, I would suggest a brain break. If they're Once they're done with that, you're gonna go into art time. You're gonna need paper, a device, pencils, crayons. I'm so sorry for the background noise. As some of you know, we have been training my dog to be a therapy dog and he's trying to open the door so he can spend time with me in here. Um, so we're going to have art time with Mo Williams and we are in episode five. And so let me know how you guys are feeling about these Mo Williams lessons. If you guys are liking them, if you're not, and we can talk about maybe changing those ups or how they're feeling for your child. After that is, is community circle time. Okay. In community circle time, this is a time to talk about their emotions, how they're feeling, and teaching the child child how to control those emotions in a healthy format, okay? So right here is a video. You're going to click, click on it, and it's going to take you to a video that you can watch with your child. And these kids know this man. This man is Mojo, and they love him dearly. So they're gonna watch the video with Mojo. And then what I have attached right here is a discussion guide. So this, parents, is a guide that leads you through this lesson, okay? What should you do when you make a mistake? What will happen if you continue to repeat this process, okay? Try using the word neuron in your explanation. Um, how do we escape the dip? Giving a real life example. And see, these are the exact same. These are all the same questions. This is just a 
teacher can send it to you guys. But I thought this would be really helpful to you guys to guide you in this lesson, okay? So we have community circle. Please remember that that is a safe time for the kids to share. They want to feel safe. They want to, there is no, you know, it's a happy place for them to be, okay? Once they're done with that, I ask that they get on iStation Math for 30 minutes. iStation Math or Prodigy, okay? Um, please make sure, once again, they're on Math for 30 minutes or Prodigy. Best way I can tell you guys to help you with this is set a timer for them or um, just kind of have them near you where you can kind of keep an eye on. I've been talking to my kids in my Zoom sessions and showing them a picture of 30 minutes of what it looks like when they hit 30 minutes and then they are allowed to get off. That way they kind of see it and they can self-control themselves on iStation. If this is something you want to try with your kid, be more than welcome. What I would suggest is showing them and having them raise their hand when their computer shows 30 minutes in the bottom screen. It will usually be right around here. We'll see their name and then their time. Once they see that 30, I'd have them raise their hand and you go over and check on them, okay? After that, you could do a brain break. Remember, here's the QR codes for brain breaks or uh, you could go to Go Noodle or you guys could go outside. It's really up to you. Um, I know in kindergarten they like to move a lot, so I usually do a brain break after every single lesson. It doesn't have to be long. It could be two minutes, three minutes. They just need that break up of time. Okay, next we have science. We're going to do another action. We are talking about movement and the kids seeing how we move and different types of movement. So go ahead, take a picture of this video of this and send it to me through class tag, class tag, class dojo, whatever, or email, or even text if you need to. Please remember all the links are right here in QR format if you need it. Um, one thing I will remind you guys about is if you need to help, please message me. My contact information is down here. Um, I miss you guys so much. I hope we can see each other soon. Soon, not soon, sorry. And please remember, I do Zoom sessions every day at 10 o'clock and I post the link on there. If um, for any reason uh, you would like to have a private Zoom message with me, you can email me. You can class dojo, class tag, Text me, call me at this number, whatever works for you. Um, like I said, next week we're going to start doing writing workshop. So we're going to have a read around Zoom and a writing workshop Zoom. And so that will be a time when I'm teaching a writing lessons and the kids come on and do it with me. Uh, the read aloud is reading a book. I'm asking the kids questions. I'm checking in, seeing how they're doing because... As we all know, this is very a different time for all of us. And so we need to make sure that we're taking care of each other and checking in on each other. You guys have a great day. I love you. Miss you. Take care. Bye.